This is an updated easy guide on how to install mods for Oblivion Remastered. We'll be going over how to install the new script extender so you'll have even more mods at your disposal. We'll be going over a full reshade tutorial and then we'll even be going over how to install the engine tweaks so that you can have some buttery smooth FPS. With that being said, let's get started. Now this guide is primarily for Steam since the Oblivion Remastered script extender is only supported for the Steam version of the game. But as long as you use mods that don't require the script extender, you'll be able to install certain mods on Game Pass as well. So in order to get started, we'll need to find our game root folder. So on Steam, right click on Oblivion Remastered, go down to Manage and then hit Browse Local Files. If this option is unavailable to you, you can instead go over to Properties and in the new window that pops up, head on over to Installed Files and then finally hit that Browse button. This new window that pops up will be your game root folder. And you can tell you're here if you see the Oblivion Remaster.exe. If you don't see the .exe file extension, you can enable this by going up to these three dots, selecting the options. We'll head over to the View tab, and then scrolling down, we want to make sure we uncheck Hide Extensions for Known File Types. Once you do this, you can press Apply and then OK. Once you do that, you should be able to see the file extensions for all files. Now we'll go ahead and install the Oblivion Remastered Script Extender. And remember, this is only for Steam, so don't try to install this if you're using Game Pass. We'll click into the Files tab, and then from here, we'll just click on Manual Download. Now if you navigate to your Downloads folder, you should see a OBS E64 zip file. You'll need a program such as WinZip, 7-Zip, or Renoir in order to open up these types of files. And if your mods are downloading in some kind of weird file type, you can always right click on it, go down to open with, and then on this window to the right, you'll be able to select your unzipping software. So for myself, I use WinRAR to open up these, but you, for example, may see 7-Zip or WinZip. If you don't see your program though, you can go down to choose another app, and then under suggested apps, you should see what you're looking for. From here, we'll go ahead and open up our zip file. And in this file, all we need is the .dll and .exe. So in our game root folder, we'll click inside of Oblivion Remastered, Binaries, and then Win64. From here, all we're doing is taking this .dll and .exe file and dragging it directly inside of this game folder. Now, once you do have the script extender installed, you will need to launch the game by clicking on this .exe file. Otherwise, the mods that rely on this won't work. Alternatively, we can also make it work by launching it from Steam by adding a simple command. So again, if you right click on Oblivion Remastered, go down to Properties, and then under the General tab, we'll need to enter the command under Launch Options. So in the same folder you just installed the script extender, if you go up to the search bar, make sure you copy the whole address, and then in the Launch Options, you're going to paste the address you just copied. You're then going to add a backslash, and then type in OBSE64 underscore loader dot exe and then at the beginning make sure you use an open quote and then at the end use a close quote you'll then add a space dash dash space percent sign command and then finally percent sign once you've added that you'll be able to launch the game from steam and not have to worry about launching it from your game folder every time You'll know you've done it correctly if you launch the game from Steam and you see a command window pop up. Now, if you want to know if you need the script extender for a certain mod, the individual mod pages will always tell you. You just need to check under the requirements tab. And if there are any requirements to run the mod, you can easily view everything from here. If you find a mod that doesn't have any requirements, then it's most likely compatible with Game Pass as well. Next, I'll be showing you how to install .pack files. We'll be using Young Textures Revamped as an example. So if you go into the Files tab and then hit the Manual Download, we'll open up our new mod. We'll go ahead and click inside of the folder. And inside you'll find three files, .utalk, .ucas, and .pack. We'll be installing these in Oblivion Remastered, Content, and then inside the Packs folder. Now you could simply just take these files and drag it inside of here. But if you want to make things tidy, you can create a Mods folder. And you can use this folder to drag these types of mods in here. So you'll just take your three files and drag it directly inside of your mods folder. This will help you to not accidentally delete any actual game files. But again, it's totally optional. Next, we'll be installing plugin files or ESPs. Using a banded house as an example, we'll go inside of the files tab, go ahead and click on the manual download. We'll open up our zip file and then we'll go ahead and click on this Oblivion Remastered, Content, Dev, Oblivion Data, Data. And then finally, you see your abandoned house.esp. We'll go ahead and do the same in the game folder. So Oblivion Remastered, Content, Dev, Oblivion Data, and then finally Data. 
In this folder, you see a list of other ESPs. So we'll go ahead and drag that abandoned house ESP inside of here. And then for ESP files specifically, we need to add them to the plugins.txt file. So an easy way to do this is to right click on the ESP you want to add. We'll go to show more, rename. I press control A to highlight everything and then control C to copy. We'll go ahead and open up the plugins.txt file. And then at the bottom of the list, you're just going to paste it in there. Once you do that, make sure you go to files and then save. There's also various save files you can download, which will allow you to use custom characters people have made. So if you want to know how to install these, we'll go inside of the files tab. Go ahead and click that manual download. We'll go ahead and open up the zip file. And then inside you'll see something like save one with the playtime and then the name of the character. For these types of files, we're going to need to go into our documents. We'll go into my games, Oblivion Remastered, saved, and then finally saved games. Inside of this folder is where you'll install your new save. And then once you launch the game, if you click on load, you should see any save files that you have installed. We then have reshades that give you custom color palettes on top of your game. In order to install these, you need a program called reshade. So you'll need to download the exe file. And once downloaded, launch the program. You'll need to find Oblivion Remastered. Make sure the game is highlighted. Go ahead and click on next. We'll be using DirectX 10, 11, 12 API. Go ahead and press next. And then on select effects to install, you need to hit the uncheck all and then you'll press it again to check all. From here, press next, and then all of your reshaders will begin to install. Once you see the green check mark, you can hit finish, and then go ahead and select a reshade to install. And once you find one, of course, files tab, and then hit the manual download, you'll open up the zip file, and inside you'll just see a .ini file. We'll need to install this inside of Oblivion Remastered, Binaries, and then Win64. You are in the right place if you see the reshade shaders folder. So from here, you'll just take this INI file and drag it inside of the game folder. Once you launch the game, you'll see a reshade menu on the top of the screen. This is telling you to press the home button. You'll have to click continue a few times, but you'll eventually reach a menu like this. From here, if you click on this blue bar right here, you're able to select that reshade file you just installed. Just make sure it's highlighted and then press select. You can also go over to the settings tab. So if you want to change up the button to open the menu, you can. And then you can also add an effect toggle key. So you'll be able to turn the reshade on and off. Also, you're able to install more than one reshade file at a time. You can't use them at the same time, but you can switch between them anytime in game. So if you want to test out multiple reshades at once, you can do that. We finally then have ultimate engine tweaks. This will help to remove stutters, improve performance stability, decrease input latency, and improve picture clarity. So if you're having some issues running Oblivion Remastered, this mod could definitely help you out. And this works for any version of the game you're running, whether you're on Game Pass, Steam, or even the Steam Deck. So we'll go ahead and click on the Files tab, and inside you'll see two different options. One is for if you have G-Sync turned off, and one is for if you have G-Sync turned on. So you need to launch the game and check in your settings to see which one you're using. You'll click Manual Download on the version for you. We'll go ahead and open up the Mod folder, and inside you'll see a Engine.ini. In order to install this, we need to head to Documents once again, go into My Games, Oblivion Remastered, into Saved, Config, and then finally Windows. Inside this folder, we'll drag that engine.ini file inside. We'll replace the file in the destination, and then you want to make sure you right click on the file, go into Show More, Properties, and you want to make sure Read Only is checked on. So when it is checked on, press Apply, and then OK. And that's all there is to it. So hopefully this easy guide helps you out. As more mining tools come out for this game, I'll be sure to keep you updated. So if you don't want to miss out on that, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Until next time, we'll see ya. Thank <laughs> you.